One, two, three, four, five, six. Hi, my name is Kathy Del Cruz, and today I will be presenting to you a multicultural speech. We all pass through certain stages in life. We all we are all different, but we do share some similarities. Different groups of people celebrate times in their life based on their customs and culture. Today, I will be describing a rite of passage for, for a girl in the Latin community called a quinceañera. A quinceañera is one of the most beloved and precious moments in a Hispanic girl's life. According to Rebecca Cuevas, a Hispanic culture researcher, quinceañera grew back to 500 BC from the Mayan and Aztec community. Quinta, which means 15, and Anya means years. At 15 in the Aztec community, a girl is considered old enough to be married and make her passage into adulthood. Her family would send her to a priesthood to train her to be a good wife, mother, and active citizen. When she returned, her family would throw a celebration and present her to the community and potential husband. With the invasion of Spain on South America and Mexico, Spanish culture and religion was blended with that of the Mayan and Aztec and created the tradition, traditional quinceanera we now know. Now, nowadays, a girl of 15 is too young to be wed, but she is mature enough to hold a young woman's responsibilities, such as finishing school, religion, and her family. Before the festivities, the girl will present herself before God. A bouquet it is placed before the Virgin Mary as a thanksgiving. Flowers, which are worn in her hair, are removed by her godmother and godfather and replaced with a tiara, showing a princess before God. She is also given a scepter to symbolize going from a girl to a woman. After the church ceremony, the whole party moves over to the reception area, and there is a ceremony before all of the dancing begins. Um, she has flats on and they're removed with high heels and, put, and she puts high heels on. Um, she's given a ring to represent the circle of life. She's also given earrings to remind her to always listen to the word of God. After the ceremony, her and her court, which usually consists of 14 girls and 14 guys, and her chamberlain, will do a dance and usually that's like the main part of the reception and it usually just it takes months and months of practice to do, but they always get it done. Um, this celebration is almost always accompanied by a theme, complimenting the new young woman's personality. All that goes into planning King set includes dress, food, gifts, accessories, decorations, cake, hall, and so much more. That really shows the strength of a Hispanic family. Many hours of careful planning go into celebrating this special day. This is symbolic of the ties that I'm sorry, this is symbolic of the ties that bind a family and close friends in the intricate network of the Hispanic.